Kicking off the holidays in style. We're downtown this morning. Pikes Peak Center getting set for boom. The Nutcracker. That's this guy right here. We're going to talk to Colton West coming up in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Tchaikovsky's masterpiece, The Nutcracker, is nothing short of tradition when celebrating the holiday season. Greg Coffee downtown with more access to those in the show, including one local dancer with a role that you might recognize. Kimberly and Justin, hello, good morning, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. We are here right now at the Pikes Peak Center getting set for the big Colorado Springs Philharmonic production of The Nutcracker. With us right now, Mr. Colton West, good morning to you. You are the Nutcracker Prince in this big production. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's the first question. Do you know what this is? That is a Nutcracker. Nutcracker is correct. That's, this could be you right there. You hold that, okay? Right. <laughs> okay, so tell us now, uh, you're the Nutcracker Prince, and right now we're going to go ahead and show some video of you dancing on stage right now in rehearsals for the big show coming up this weekend. What does it mean for you? to be in this production? Um, it really is an honor. Um, at the audition, I expected to get some, some side part, but I was taken aside by uh, Patty Hoffman, who uh, helps set the choreography of Ballet Idaho on us. And she told me that um, they were gonna consider me for uh, the Nutcracker Prince, and it was probably the most excited I've ever been. Very cool, so why ballet? Why do you, why do, you do this? Um, both my older sisters danced when I was a little kid. And I was never very good at sports, so I figured <laughs> <laughs> figured I'd try something something new and something different. So and dance, right? So dance, kind of like Justin back in studio, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's gonna love that. What advice would you have to kids that maybe want to get into ballet and, and perhaps you know think about this as a profession that they'll do for the rest of their lives? Um, do it. Uh, go for it. It's a lot of fun. I am. Um, if you're passionate about it, go for it. Okay, very cool. Hey, just a couple of guys hanging out. We're talking ballet, right? Right. Exactly. Hey, uh, real quick now, it's Thanksgiving. What are you most thankful for? Um, I am thankful for all my family and friends that helped support me through all this nutcracker craziness. And for mom for writing the checks, right? Right. <laughs> Got to give a shout out to mom, right? Right. Okay, she's here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We have more on the way coming up in just a little while. Again, rehearsals going on right now like crazy for this weekend's big production of The Nutcracker. That's him. Look at that smile. Yeah, do you smile on the show? I do, all the time. Or too busy dancing and twirling. It's a lot of smiling and heavy breathing is what it is. Okay, okay, kind of like me walking upstairs. Right. <laughs> Okay, that's it for now. From downtown, back to you guys. I cannot wait. I'm going to see the show on Saturday. It's kind like, of become a tradition. I'm not a good dancer. I know. I don't but, know what Craig's know, talking about. <laughs> and I, I was okay at sports. All right. The Colorado Springs Philharmonic production of The Nutcracker happens this weekend at the Pikes Peak Center. Four performances, Friday through Sunday. For more information on the show and tickets, you can call 520-SHOW or log on to csphilharmonic.org.